Hey, hey, welcome to Live with Lynn. So if you're here, say hi. If you're watching the replay, be sure to type replay so I know you were here. I'm Lynn Huber, and I appreciate you being here today. So today I'm going to talk about why knowing what success means is crucial to you being successful. So when you go on a journey, you know where you're starting from, you know where you're going, and you know how you're going to get there, right? I mean, if you want to bring success into your life, then you need to do those exact same things. Becoming successful is not a matter of blind luck or occasional chance, not for anybody. I mean, ongoing success, you might have a moment of blind luck or chance, but for ongoing success, it's not going to work that way. Success is a skill, and it can, it's a skill that anyone can learn. That's the cool thing, is that you can learn this. So do you want to be more successful? Maybe you feel like you could succeed in certain areas of your life and and you know you would like to find out how others have achieved that kind of success maybe you feel like you give up too easily or you feel that you can't achieve success and and that could be the problem actually is that you believe you can't right if you can learn to believe in yourself and try to develop new habits and traits that successful people have this could make success a lot easier and a lot more achievable for you hi melissa good to see you hi karen thanks for being here so to create success, you have to know what success means to you, right? Success is different for everyone. So there's no one size fits all way to achieve it. Yet to discover what success means to you, though, is a simple process. Anybody can do this. You can create a plan to achieve the success that you want in whatever area of your personal or your professional life that you choose or both or all, right? First, you need to decide what it is you want to achieve to be to be successful. What is the end result? What's your goal, right? Write it down. Be very descriptive and use present tense. You know, write down why achieving this is important to you. What does it mean to you? How motivated are you to achieve this goal? How bad do you want it, right? Then write down how you will feel when you achieve your goal. And how is it going to change your life? You know, what's your life going to be like once you've gotten to that goal, right? Again, be very descriptive and write it using the present tense as though you're already there. This is all really important because it clarifies what it is that you want to achieve. And unless you really are clear in your mind what it is that you want to achieve and why, you probably aren't going to achieve it. So now I want you to write down your current situation and how that makes you feel. Although we're talking about how you feel right now, Try writing it in the past tense, because by writing it in the past tense, it's going to change the way you're thinking about your situation. It's going to move you towards creating the success that you want. You know, well, I used to do this, or I was doing this. So it's telling your brain that you're not doing that anymore, right? So your mind will begin to distance itself from your current situation, and it will begin to believe that you're moving towards your goal. So now you have your starting and your ending points on your journey to success. So now you need to fill it in, fill in the details. You know, how are you going to get there? What needs to change to make your situation change and, and to get you from where you are now to achieving that goal or that level of success you're looking for? You know, write down each step and look at all areas. Look at your mindset. Look at your behavior. Look at your habits. What needs to change? You know, this isn't a judgment thing. It's just it's just looking at it with curiosity, kind of like, okay, what am I doing? Okay, that's not really helping me. So maybe I can change that. Maybe that would make a difference, right? Identify potential blocks to achieving your goal. So write them down and add how you're going to overcome those things, right? And then just get busy and go after your goals. Even if you get knocked down at the first hurdle, you should always keep going. I mean, resilience is a key trait for success. That's what's going to help you to continue going no matter what. You're going to face obstacles, you know, and things that might hinder your success. It's just how it is for all of us. We all have obstacles. They're put in our road every day, right? So, but having resilience can help you build help you to bounce back from those things really quickly. And if you're not resilient, you might run away as soon as you face a difficult situation. And that doesn't help, right? That's not going to help you on your journey to becoming successful. So try and be more resilient. Learn to deal with a tough situation so that you can power through and become successful. Actually knowing and believing that you have the power to succeed can be difficult, but it's probably 
one of the most important things to your success. You have to believe you can do it, right? We all have the ability to succeed in life and get what we want. Like I said earlier, the cool thing is, is that it's something you can teach yourself. You don't have to know how to be successful. You don't have to be successful right now. You can teach yourself, right? You just need to know how to reach your full potential. And by taking these steps, you're undertaking one of the key success habits, goal setting. It's huge. It's really huge for reaching your goals and for being successful. You're also learning to know yourself better, which is another habit for success. Because self-knowledge and positive mindset will help you identify your goal, understand what success means to you, and create a plan that will help you achieve it. If you want to be successful, you need to understand what success is, what it means to you, and how you're going to get there. Just like if you're going on a trip, right? So, hey, so now I'd love to hear from you. How are you at goal setting? You know, what kinds of things help you to drill down to really understanding what success means to you or what it is you're going after and how you will know when you reach it? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to hear your stories. So I want to thank you all for being here today. Thank you, Melissa and Karen, for being live and anyone else who might be live who just hasn't commented and anyone who's watching the replay. I appreciate you. So go out there and have an amazing day. And I'll see you next. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.